Uh, I want to give an introduction. I've gotten a lot of questions about what is TTNS, that is transcutaneous tibial nerve stimulation. Uh, TTNS is really helpful for overactive bladder symptoms. Uh, we also try to use it for some um, bowel urgency symptoms as well, but we have really good evidence for urinary. And we have especially good evidence in a pediatric population as well. So I'm going to go through the steps of generally what this is and let you know that it's not so scary and uh, if you think it would be right for you and you only want to learn about this technique, make a quick appointment or a short appointment with us and we'll go through it. Uh, but we really recommend you use this as part of a program. So if you're having bladder symptoms, um, urgency, frequency, urge with leaking, uh, when you're rushing to a bathroom, this could be a really nice treatment for you. Doctors do PTNS, which is percutaneous, so they stick needles uh, where I'm going to put stickers or electrodes uh, and they also get really great results so uh, if you were seeing a doctor for PTNS you would do it once um, a week for usually 12 weeks and then as monthly maintenance. For some people that's not really doable in terms of finances or appointments um, so this is a really nice way to accomplish this at home. Um, and these devices, there's a lot of them on the market, but I definitely have a favorite one. Um, Protens, the intensity, uh, they have a few different models, but there's good enough power to um, do a great job. Not that it feels that intense, but I have worked with some that were maybe $5 cheaper and we really couldn't make it work. So um, I'll describe what we're looking for as we do it and you can think about if this treatment would help you or, like I said, a child that might be having bladder leaking or urgency or going all the time. Uh, they can really benefit from this as well. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to start by placing my electrodes. I'm going to place my first electrode up here. This is my black wire. And I'm really looking for a few finger widths above that middle ankle bone, okay, that circular bone, and this is where I'm aiming for. And then I'm going to take my second electrode and I'm going to place it underneath. And if we don't get our placement perfect, we won't see any movement, and then we can always rearrange. So I have my machine, and um, if you end up getting one of these or decide that this treatment is for you, we'll talk you through all the settings. But this is on a TENS setting, and I'm using 20 hertz. Uh, you can use 10 or 20 with a 200 microsecond setting as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning this up. And really, I should just feel some gentle tingling at first, which I'm starting to feel now as I turn up the milliamps. And what we're going to look is look at my big toe. So the nerve that uh, connects with the bladder is the tibial nerve. And the reason it can communicate with the bladder is it shares a nerve root. So <clears throat> if I want to make sure that I'm actually treating my bladder symptoms and not just placing tens and stimming my ankle, I need to see the action happen from that nerve. So I need to see my big toe curl. So if I continue to turn this up, we're actually going to stare at my toe. And if it starts to curl under, then I know I have the tibial nerve. And still, this is just a comfortable tingling sensation, and we're going to look and wait and see if my toe moves. My toe is starting to move downwards, and there's the toe curl. So once we have that toe curl, and I'll show you again, I'll turn it down, my toe goes up, and when I turn it up, you see my toe curl down. And I am not doing that. That is the electricity going into the nerve to stimulate that motion. Once we have that, we don't need to sit there for 30 minutes and have your toe curl. So we can turn it back down uh, to a comfortable amount. But then we know we're at the tibial nerve so that we can have this treatment be successful for our bladder.